A word of the day. Our word of the day comes from the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verses 12 and 13. And it says, we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the ruler of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Amen. Things that we see going around the wars and the violence and the corruption and all those are all just spiritual darkness. The world is being overtaken by Satan and all of his minions. And so when we look at people, we really have to look at the fact that it's not them that's doing these things. It's the spirit that's overtaking them, that's causing them to do the things that they're doing. In Acts 26, verse 18, it says, to open their eyes in order to turn from darkness to light, and from the power of Satan to God, that they may receive forgiveness of sin and an inheritance among those who are sanctified by faith in me. You know, God wants us to, to just continue to pray for them and pray for them to come out of this darkness. There's a reason that the spirit that's on them, that's causing them not to come to him not to to keep them away from their families to you know it's it's all works of darkness but god is telling us today that this is what's happening the powers of satan have overtaken this world so when we look at it in that respect we can't really get angry with the persons who are doing these acts because it's really not them it's the spirit that's on them that causes them. They don't know Christ. They walk in the world and they act according to the world. And this that's the breeding ground for Satan to keep people away from Christ, keep them in darkness or away from the light. So we have to understand this. In 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 13 and 14, it says, For such a false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into apostles of Christ. And no wonder, for Satan himself transformed himself into an angel of light. Satan himself will sit on the holy mountain of God and he will pretend to be Jesus Christ. So of course, when we look at these and we see all these things on the internet and we hear people, you know, leaving Christ and, and changing and going from light to darkness. And, and we see people not preaching the word. And we see that bad is good and good is bad. It's the transformation of Satan that's taken over this world. But we should be ready. We have to put on the full armor of God. In James 4, 7, in James chapter 4, verses 7 and 8, it says, Therefore, submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. This is how we fight it. We don't worry about when people persecute us or say bad things or plot against us. Or We just submit it to God. We just give it all to him. We let him fight the battles. We just fight these things in our heads with the word. It says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. These are all things that we all have to submit to God and let him take care of it. Let him change us. 
Let him do the work in us. He will purify us. He cleanses our hearts. He changes our minds. And he will change their minds as well because we continue to pray for them. We continue to pray for this nation. We can pray for our government. We pray for our people. We pray for our friends and our families that they too will draw near to God because the time is coming where things are really going to get ugly and they're going to get tough. And the works of darkness going to crank it up even worse than now. And we have to continue to really draw closer to God. And he will draw closer to us. So let's finish with Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 to 17. It says, finally, my brothers and sisters, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the vials of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having gird your wrists with truth, put on the breastplate of righteousness and having shunned your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Amen. Above all things, above all, taking the sword of faith, which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. With that, this is why we need to stay close to God, that we can withstand all the wickedness, all the things that's happening, all the things that will happen. We cling on to the faith and trust in him. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Amen. These are how we will fight the spirits. The fiery darts, the evil that's running rapid in this world. We fight it with the word of God. We cling on to our faith and our trust in him. And he will help us through all of these times, all these things to come. Lord, we thank you for this word today. We thank you for just reminding us and showing us that we do not battle against flesh and blood. We battle against the principalities and rulers of darkness of this age. So we really can't really get mad or upset about the people that are doing these evils because we know that it's a spirit that's on them. We pray against that spirit and that you take it away and that you bring them to yourself, whatever is causing them to do the things that they're doing. We see it everywhere in our families, in our governments, in our world. And we just help us to just stay close to you, help us to continue to keep our faith and our eyes focused on you. This is the message for this year for each and every one of us to keep our eyes and our focus on you. But Lord, we need your help to do this. We can't do these things on our own because we have battles, we have fights, we have all these things that's going on. And sometimes it's hard to keep our focus on you, but we know that you can help us with that. We know that you will bless us. We know you will answer our prayers. Everything happens in your timing, and we know that your will will be done. And so help us today. This is your Sabbath day of rest today. Help us to let go of all our burdens and everything that we've been carrying this week. Help us to just have peace and rest and just look to you and comfort us and bless us. And we thank you that you continue to love us. And we just give you all the honor and all the praise and all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you all. 
May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace today. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. God bless you all. Have a wonderful day in the Lord.